Aguilar did not make weight. His second title defense is underway against Palomino, and it starts off with dual kicks. Gage has some great low kicks, and high kicks looks very explosive as well. And it's smart to attack. I wouldn't throw single kicks, though. Gage, he sneaks in the left. Gage, uh -oh. applying the pressure as always. Gage, he with an uppercut that grazes. And Palomino tries to clinch up along the fence. Well, Palomino was overcommitted to his strikes. Again. And they're cheering for Gaethje, as you would imagine. Gaethje. Chad, that's the only way he knows to fight right now, is to bring it. That's what he's doing. Beautiful left high kick from Gaethje. And Gaethje pushes him against the fence. Palomino needs, needs to clinch now. Palomino grabs for a moment. But then again, he's going to watch out for a takedown because Gaethje can't take and people Gaethje down. And Gaethje slams him down. And ground and pound. I believe that's a big power that he has that he didn't use yet. The former All-American collegiate wrestler. Back to stand. What a pace. One and a half minutes. This pace is so high. It's rare you see a champion come out with this kind of pressure early on. And he does it all the time. So it's... it's but that's Who what got him here. Yep. Oh, Gage, he's up for cut. Cut. That stuns Palomino. And he shakes it off and comes right back. Oh, and he delivers oh, a punch that catches shots. the attention of Gagey. Man, this is crazy. A last man standing kind of pace early on in the title fight. Gagey uppercut just misses. I love it when you do it one hand. Palomino just hit it before also. Right uppercut, right hook. A right hook, right uppercut. It's a smart combination to throw. And it, right by Palomino. Gagey takes the punch and tries to come back. Yeah, this, the pace, if we were halfway down the first round, there's no way they can keep going like this. Palomino delivering a couple of good shots and Gagey clinches up. Yeah, if Gaethje is hit, which I think he is there, he should go for a takedown and take a little break there. Then again, you give your opponent a break as well, so... Barely a pause in the first nice three minutes of, minutes of this fight. And Palomino and Gaethje swing out of the clutch. Palomino oh. delivers a couple of nice punches in there. No, he oh. wants to go after Gaethje. Up the Gaethje cut. throws him down. Went for a real naked. They use that as a take out. That's the first time. Just lifted him up. Slammed him down. And Gaethje grabs the back. Wow, well, yeah. I was waiting for the pace to slow down a little bit because it's insane. Except for a couple of clinches, this is the way it's been since the opening bell. And Gaethje is coming right back on oh, Palomino. Is he? Okay. Uh, Gaethje has one leg in between the legs of Palomino. We saw it before the opening here to show the prelim rolling in the bar. He's got a left oh, Look at that. What a kick by Gaethje. Palomino's rock, but he's still standing. And Gaethje blocks him down. Gaethje's trying to finish it here. Palomino is stumbling. Gaethje moving in. And Palomino comes back. Mouthpiece is flying out. They don't know from who. They have to hold up just a moment. Al Guiney has to get the mouthpiece back in. <laughs> what a strong to fight. Gaethje. Look, both these guys. And look at Gaethje. <laughs> He's applauding the crowd. Mouthpiece back for Palomino. 
They touch him up, here they go again. Yeah, there's respect now. That didn't happen in the beginning of the fight, but there is respect now. Both yeah, these guys. I think Palomino has seen some things maybe he didn't expect from Gaethje. But Gaethje as well. Gaethje got hit quite a few times as well. Final seconds. And look at him swinging to the bell. Palomino comes right back after that knee. Gaethje oh! was on the knockdown for a slip. That is the end of a non-stop first. What a first round. The champ, Justin Gaethje and Luis Palomino boss Ruth okay. going non-stop. Boom. Beautiful takedown. Look at that. The left corner. I don't know if people watching the replay because it's way too exciting, but the replay is looking at how he takes him down with a rear naked choke. <laughs> now we're back live here in Phoenix, round two. Can they keep up the pace? If so, for how long? Palomino, the challenger in the red. Most of this fight has been standing up. Oh, another left high kick. We haven't seen Palomino throw a kick yet, and he's really good with that. Or oh, what about that flying knee? Oh, jumping knee. Oh. Let's check in with Joey Varner. All right, Kenny, I was in the corner of Justin Gaethje. They like his aggression, but they think he's getting a bit reckless. They want him to tighten it up. They said don't let go with punches four, five, and six. Keep it tight, keep it short, keep it simple. Ones and twos, pick your spots, set it up, take him out. Well, and Gaethje, as we said earlier, this has been the style that got him to this position to be a champ. He hasn't changed it much, but that is sort of his Achilles heel. Something down the road, he goes all out all the time. The thing is also, he presses his opponent constantly backwards. And if he puts him against the fence, it's very hard to counter for the opponent because he's been constantly attacked. Good punishment again with those combinations from Gaethje, but Palomino stands and returns. Palomino should never have his back against the wall. He should move away to the side right now. Moving, moving. That's a smart idea what Gaethje's doing. Set it up, though, with a punch. Left hook, right low. He's slowing the legs down from Palomino, and it's going to affect him drastically. Palomino with some nice rights. And Whoa! Palomino now pushing the action, and Gaethje takes another left. You can see it looks like a little blood now from Justin Gaethje on the right side of his face from those left hooks by Palomino. And he's constantly pushing, eh? It is the craziest thing ever. You would think he would take a break and step back for a second. Now this fight is on. This is the second round and they're pacing again. It's the same pace almost like they had in the first three and a half minutes of round number one. You see the blood over the eye of Justin Gaethje. Well, this is going to go up for the Bossy Award. I guarantee you that. And now the champ tries to come back. Gets it to the ground. Palomino standing right back up. He should throw more knees to tie. Smart for Palomino to turn into him so he can stop that because he's been located quite a few times. You don't want him to continue adding knees to the same spot. You see a little blood in the eye of Gaethje there, that right eye. He got some good lefts in this round for Palomino. <laughs> that crazy cartwheel kick that Gaethje tried to pull up at the bell of round number one. That was crazy. You should try that one time. Palomino should use that uppercut. The right uppercut and the right hook is very effective. And now it's all about heart. Who's got the biggest heart? And of course, gas tank. Look at those shots. That right hook again connecting. 
Now Gaethje can take a shot as well. He doesn't even flinch. And Palomino, it's like he woke up. He, he almost went down in round number one, but now you can hit him with everything, and he doesn't buckle at all. And all these punches thrown by a guy who's a jiu-jitsu guy, thought up primarily, and a former great college wrestler. But they're throwing punches. It's the craziest thing, yeah. Well, Palomino, well, that's Capoeira. That's, that's, that's no hands. And he's throwing a lot of hands here. Capoeira is a really cool Brazilian fighting dance. Like and those we kind of saw kicks. a little bit of it with that spinning kick that missed. His punches have been affected. Opening a cut over the eye of the champion. The crowd loving this <laughs> action. <laughs> Carol and Ray, Justin's parents, here watching. He said he'd probably have about 800 friends and family. I believe he has at least that many here. Oh. As we start round three, championship fight. Gaethje, the lightweight champ of the WSOF, wearing the black trunks, defending his title, trying to for the second consecutive time. And he's taking on a very game, Palomino, and a pace that just won't slow down. Let's go to Palomino's corner. Joy, what's going on? Kenny, you know what? Palomino's corner was almost giving the exact identical information and coaching instructions that Justin's corner was giving in the previous rounds. They're saying, don't get sloppy. Don't get wild. Pick your shots. When you're in that tie-up, look for that uppercut. It's there. You have the power to hurt them. You are strong. You have the heart to win this fight. Show the world you are a champion. That kick blocked by Palomino. It looks like Gaethje starting to get effect with the low kicks. Al Gaini, the referee, wanting to check the glove of Palomino. There you see the cut over the right eye of Gaethje. Took some lefts in that last round from Palomino. And look at Gaethje. He just doesn't back down. And he is thriving right now. Trading punches, the cheering of the crowd here in his home state of Arizona. What a sample you said also for your future opponents. You know, like, okay, this is what you're gonna have to live up to. Gaethje with the kick, Palomino comes back. And Gaethje and Palomino exchange again. Nice exchange in favor, it looks like a Palomino on that one. Gaethje won't go down along the fence. Nice wrestling pro protects him. At all times, I'm, I'm amazed that we didn't see another takedown from him. Because this is a slugfest. Who's really winning this? He's pushing, so I would say Gates because he's going forward. But then again, Palomino many times goes forward again. It's a very hard fight to judge this. Palomino with a bloody nose now. Yeah, the low kick starts taking its toll. Gates is able to slide one of those punches in. He sprawls as Palomino tries for the takedown. Gates is having none of that right now to the body, nice job there. Man, these guys are warriors. They're, nobody loses anymore in this fight. I mean, whatever happens, both these guys are winners. I mean, this is insane. And Gaethje has really been the face of the WSOF. Yep. He is 6-0 in the organization. He beat Richard Petitionock at WSOF 8 to claim the title. He defended the title against Nick Newell. He had a catchweight fight against Melvin Gillard the last time out. And throughout it all, he has fought, even as you watch him now at this higher pace, this is what he's done all the way through. All the way, all the way to this 13-0 record, 6-0 in the WSOF. I mean, the low can see it, don't you? Palomino. It's going to be over. He knocks down Palomino here in the third. It's the low kicks. I, said, I saw it. You know, he stopped stake. He didn't flex his muscles anymore. Once you stop doing that, it will go straight through. Two more low kicks, good ones, and the fight's going to be over. Palomino back up. You wonder just how much power each guy has left. The way they've gone at it for almost three rounds now. Yeah, he's, he's hunting for the low kick now. Palomino feeling the pressure again at Gaethje. 
Gaethje oh, with the knee. Oh, man, why not throwing him? Jumping knee. Gaethje oh. cuts down Palomino with the kick. He might finish it off here. Gaethje, hammer fist, hammer fist. Gaethje, crazy. has won it. He is still the champion. <laughs> what a performance. This is one of the best fights I've ever seen. Crazy. Justin Gaethje, all out from the opening bell. That belt stays around his weight. <laughs> Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn